yo, outside right now, feet on land. Here's some small tips for, to go ahead and grow you guys a small account. I know a lot of you might be playing with a small account, and a small account is pretty much anywhere, I'd say, from $100 to $1,000. Um, there's going to be a couple of things that you want to go ahead and keep in note of, and there's going to be a couple of things that you do want to know when it comes to growing a small account, okay? So, boom. Let's go ahead and start off with the very first thing I want to talk about. Understand that you're on a small account, for one. So, the fact that you're on a small account means that you have to lock in quick gains. Some of you are trying to go for one big trade to bolster your account. And yes, that might work at times, but it's kind of like an all or nothing kind of situation. And you might blow your account a lot of the times. And blowing up a small account is very frustrating because, one, you already know you can't trade with the proper contracts, your proper stop loss and certain things that how you want to trade. So don't really get disappointed. So you guys just really have to put into perspective that, OK, if I do want to grow a small account, then I have to put in the type of effort, if that makes sense. Um, so one, take it slow. Okay. Don't try to grow your account up really fast. Cause trading is not like a job where you work for multiple years just to get $2 raise. The more you guys are consistent, the more you guys are able to stack up wins on a small account, $20 wins, $30 wins, $50 wins, the quicker you're going to be able to unlock more contracts. And before you know it, you're going to be able to start making $200 a day very, very easily putting yourself on a withdrawal schedule and growing from there. In trading, it's not hard to make $200 every single trade. You don't need that big of an account. I say maybe like a $300 to $500 account, and you could easily do that. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, depending on the amount of risk and size that you're using, et cetera. But you guys are able to make pretty good money in trading without having a big account. What a lot of people do is consistently withdraw as well. So every time you guys take a win, say you guys won $50, right? You guys can withdraw maybe 20, keep in 30, or withdraw 30, keep in 20, keep your account growing like that, and just keep the growth nice and continue to pay yourself. This way, you guys aren't going to feel pressured, or um, what you guys might would do is turn a small account up, and then some people end up blowing it because they don't withdraw or paying themselves. So when you guys don't pay yourself, that's really how you get into the predicament of blowing up your account. Because one... You're going to think of your account differently. You're going to think of it. Oh, I have to try and grow more. I have to try and grow more. I have to try and grow more. And another thing that's going to destroy your account is not being able to accept an L. Especially on a small account, this is going to be very problematic. This is very problematic on big accounts too. Um, just because of the fact that on big accounts, you feel like you have so much capital. You feel like you can come back and trade over and over and over again. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Once you take your L, get off for the day. Because if you don't do that, you're going to dig yourself a deep grave and it's going to be a deep, dark hole. And when you get onto the charts, it's going to be very hard to recover when you just think about those losses and you think about the things that you didn't do. You're going to be like, dang, I ran the account up and I didn't withdraw. I should have withdrawn. I should have withdrawn. And in trading, things can haunt you, but you don't want things to haunt you. So you're going to go ahead and put systematic things in place already to go ahead and make sure that these things don't happen. You feel me? So look. <clears throat> As well as what comes with growing a small account is understanding the amount of discipline it's going to take, too. You guys are going to only have to take high probability setups. On a small account, you have no room for error almost, and you can't be taking nonsense setups that don't make much sense, setups that are low probability, setups that aren't going to get you a decent risk to reward ratio. And you pretty much is going to have to be strictly on the higher time frames. Whether you're taking a breakup setup, a breakout setup, find a key high a volume area of support or resistance, and then pretty much just trade high, um, high conviction trades, high probability trades, or what you're going to want to stick to all the time when it comes to a small account. I see way many, I see too many people taking weird setups and stuff like that, like uh, just a bunch of weird setups. Pretty much is using the minute time frames, and then they wonder why they're not profitable, wondering why they're blowing up their funded accounts or blowing up their personals. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make trading extremely simple. I teach you guys in my mentorship, and seeing how my students have progressed, even my new ones, is absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, if you guys need help with your technicals, get with me at stackmode.net for that. Okay, but anyways, besides that, I want you guys just pretty much to be pay taking high conviction trades because you're not gonna have much room to lose. Hopefully, when you do start your small account, you start off winning. But if you do start off in drawdown, understand that if your account is in drawdown, it's not that deep. If your account is in drawdown, it's not that deep. Understand that, okay, my account's in drawdown right now. What am I going to do about it? I'm going to stay consistent. I'm going to take the same type of entries that I always take. I'm going to stick to my stop loss. And I'm just going to keep going. Because at the end of the day, it's a probability game. And if you guys just use math and risk reward ratio, let's say you guys pay for a one to two risk reward ratio lose $100. Next trade, you win $200. Not only did you make up that $100 loss, but now you're back and um, now, now you're going ahead and you're break even. One moment.
Oh, I'm feet on the land. I'm outside right now, just waiting for some food, uh, just cooling it. But anyways, when you're growing your small account, understand that you got this too. I know you guys see some of your favorite YouTubers or your favorite traders grow their small account, and you guys be like, dang, I want to turn a little bit of money into a lot too. There's been times from an SPX contract on like a J-Pow day, I've turned a $100 SPX contract to over $900. So I'm telling you guys, it's very possible and it's a lot, it's going to happen much quicker than you think. But if you guys aren't going to be patient and you're not going to be disciplined, you're not going to be consistent, it's, it's not going to happen. Because the thing about trading is that it can all be taken away from you and you pretty much get rewarded based upon like how hard you're grinding. You feel me? So that's just what it's going to be. So you guys just have to put in a perspective that if I want to grow my account, I need to be in the straight mindset and be happy with the profits that I'm getting. I know you guys might be seeing $20 profits at first, $30 profits, but understand that that adds up. I know you see your favorite traders doing big 500K trades, 200K trades, 300K trades, buying cars and Lambos. But understand that, inch love, God wills, if you keep praying and grinding, your time will come too. You just have to stay down, stay patient, keep growing your account day by day. Don't focus on PL. Forget about PL. Forget it. Forget about PL. Just literally focus on the charts and don't even pay attention to the money. Just pay attention to your entry criteria, whether or not you hit stop loss or take profit, journal your trade, come back to the next day. Your amount of money that you have in your account almost doesn't matter. I say all the time, a seven-figure account is the same thing as a uh, $700 account. You see, you, feel, you see what I'm saying? Because, one, the only thing that changes is the amount of contracts that you're playing with. We're all still taking the same entries, have similar stop losses, etc. if you actually know what you're doing. So it's not that much different and doesn't change that drastically. Only thing that changes is the amount of contracts that you're playing with and the amount of size that you're going to be using. So that's pretty much it. So when you're growing your small account, don't think of it as a small account. Understand that you're on your own personal journey. Don't compare your profits to somebody else. Be happy with what you get. Withdraw small percentages of what you make while your account grows. So you pay yourself and stay prayed up and keep grinding. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bam. If you guys are looking for a cryptocurrency broker where you guys can trade crypto futures, altcoins, and meme coins, I recommend you guys head over to bitunix.com. You guys can either buy crypto straight up and buy your favorite coins using your card, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, XRP, etc. You guys also have the ability to trade futures as well, where you guys can either long or short cryptos such as Bitcoin or even trade altcoins and meme coins such as Gala USDT. So you guys have a huge variety of what you guys want to trade and the fees are pretty low as well. On bitunix.com, they also do give you guys a welcome bonus as well, where you guys can complete some very easy steps and get some free capital, which you guys can trade with. There's also tons of trading competitions that go on that you guys can earn some capital to trade from too, and you can compete against your buddies. So if you guys are looking for a new crypto broker with low fees, fast transactions, and fast withdrawals, I'd head over to bitunix.com. Link in description below. Peace.